everyone, it's Amy, and today we're going to look at what sold on eBay in April 2020. Because I'm getting a little bored of doing hauls, to be honest. And I want to start doing a lot more resale stuff. You know, I think it's good for y'all to learn more about the business. And I just hope that I can teach you a few things. So let's get into it. First thing that sold was this Hasbro Howler Beastie Bear from 1991. Picked this up for 50 cents. Um, I didn't need to wash it because it was pretty dirty. And I sold it for, accepted an offer of $30, which, you know, this says $42.84. I don't know why it doesn't sell or show what it sold for, but I was happy to make $30 on a 50 cent buy. Next thing was this Peanuts Snoopy Woodstock Purple Neon Chalkboard Wrapping Paper. It was just like two sheets of wrapping paper. Picked it up for $0.10. Cents. You can see I have one left. Um, not $0.10. Cents. I picked it up for $0.50. Cents. Um, the first one sold for, I think it was $9.39 plus shipping. So that was good. Also, there was shipping on Beastie Bear. I'm pretty sure there was. Garfield, you can't go wrong with Garfield. Picked him up for fifty cents. Sold him for twelve ninety nine. I did do free shipping on this one. Um, you know, look for the vintage Garfield stuff. This was nineteen eighty one. It said so on the tag. This was a little stuffed animal. It's only like, what did I say it was in the listing? I said it was six inches tall. This was such a score. Okay, I picked this up at Goodwill. The woman asked me, she's like, is this a pillow or a backpack? I'm like, well, I guess it's a bag technically. Well, you know, it's a bag because it has straps on it, the zipper pocket. And, but she still charged me for a throw pillow, so it was $2. I accepted an offer of $50, no, $52. And plus shipping. Awesome, awesome buy. Always be on the lookout for Invader Zim stuff because it does really well. There's like a cult following of the show. I'm one of those followers. Yeah, it's just something you want to look out look out for for sure. Metroid. I don't even know how you say this. Samus returns. Jigsaw puzzle. I think on this one, because I had two, one of them I accepted, and I'm sorry if you can hear Gideon in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, he distracted me, and I don't know, even know what I was saying. I think I sold this one for $10, and I picked these up for 3 so it wasn't really the greatest. I'm just not good at retail arbitrage. I'm just, I don't know why I keep doing it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm more than doubled my money, but to me, that's just not worth it. You know, it's to each his own. If I, see, my thing is I'm afraid to go big when doing retail arbitrage, and that's something that Kevin has talked about over on Commonwealth Picker, and it makes a lot of sense. You know, you're only going to be listing this thing once, so yeah, if you only make like five dollars per item still you only had the work of an you know the initial time investment and you're gonna make that money over and over and over so I just need to <laughs> just need to buy more stuff when I do this okay there was this Mikasa crystal wine glasses nine and a half inches tall I was so happy to get rid of these things I bought them for four dollars, and oh, I thought they would go fast. They did not. Um, they're signed on the bottom by the the um, I guess designer or whatever by the artist. But yeah, I can't even remember what these actually sold for. I think I took an offer on them of fourteen dollars plus shipping. 
yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't get those again <laughs> this came from the plush palooza <laughs> it's um there's a guy on Facebook that was selling a bunch of stuffed animals for twenty dollars so you know I I jumped Tony and I talked about it and it was just you know I thought we'll make our money back with this pretty easy um and I think we're in the profit. Pretty sure we're in the profit. This one accepted an offer of I don't even remember. <laughs> really wish it would tell you what you accepted the offer for. But it was a really nice stuffed animal. It's by this company, FAO Schwarz. I don't I wasn't familiar with the company before before this piece but I've got like we have a dollar invested in each stuffed animal if that so I know mean, there was some stuff in the lot that I just redonated but I know one stuffed animal the first one we sold we already made I think sixteen dollars back so yeah we're we're gonna do okay with this Okay, Bath and Body Works. I don't have a Bath and Body Works close by, so when they have a good sale like they did, you know, the semi-annual sale, I just buy what I think I'll like, and when it arrives, you know, if I don't like the scents, I put them up for sale. And that's what happened with these. And I can't remember what the offer was but I accepted an offer I only had like two dollars and sixty cents invested into each one of these so I made my money back plus some so I was happy twiddle mega glow um, mega twig Twiddle mega glow in the dark stress relief autism fidget create shape toy um, this came in a mystery box from vat19.com, and it wasn't something that we would use, so put it up for sale. Pretty sure, except for an offer on this, of like $12 plus shipping. Then there's this El Paso Chihuahuas Minor League. Jersey material baseball hat, one size fits most. Pick this up at Goodwill for a dollar. I hadn't heard of this team beforehand. Um, I don't, but I mean, that's just a cool little mascot. And I think I accepted an offer of $14 plus shipping. This was a real score. I know these things are ugly as sin, but to each his own you know what you may not think is ugly somebody else may really love in this country style I mean these are probably 1980s I'm guessing late 80s early 90s because I remember stuff like this from my childhood falls into the same time air you know time era as those geese with the blue ribbons on their necks um but I have $3 invested in these and I accepted an offer of $32 I think it was plus shipping so yeah that was a, that was a great buy this was such a beautiful little vintage tin always be on the lookout for vintage tins especially if you can get them really cheap I paid a quarter for this and ended up so I accepted an offer for $14 plus shipping. It, like I said, it was really pretty tin. It's got peacocks on there. And hummingbirds and butterflies. But it was by this Dahir, I guess is how you say it, Dahir Long. Um, it was made in England. But yeah, a quarter into $14, I'll take that all day long. I can't remember. I think we accepted an offer of $12 on this. It's free shipping. We only had a dollar invested. Not really a 
a low out on. But, hey, it made money. We thought it'd do better, but it didn't. Um, Tony has told me how to say this so many times. Mephisto? Mephisto? I don't know. <laughs> He's a Marvel character. Uh, this was a 2007 Marvel Select figure. He came with his throne. And we accepted an offer of $90 plus shipping. This was something from Tony's personal collection. You know, if you have stuff that you collected and you no longer care about, see what it sells for on eBay. You, you can be really surprised. This vintage Animal Fair Old Wise Owl plush. Owls always do well. It's from the 1970s. It sold for asking price $16.71. $4.60 shipping. Yeah, I think we got it for a dollar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a dollar. It was at Goodwill, so it was either 50 cents or a dollar. Final Fantasy 7. So for $39.99. Now, I think the reason this did so well is because they just re-released Final Fantasy VII. So people are looking for, you know, the original back on the PlayStation 1. But yeah, $39.99, $5.30 shipping. Also sold Final Fantasy Tactics for the PlayStation 1, $29.99. 460 shipping. North Carolina Tar Heels Mug of Nuts Beer Stein. Or Beer Mug Stein. I can't remember if I, what I paid for this, but I thought it'd do, thought it'd do better. Sold for $10.99. Eight. Well, no, it's, that's what it would cost if it shipped to me. But, plus shipping. So, made some money. Here's the other puzzle that sold, and this one sold for, I think this one sold for $11. Huge shout out to a primetime treasure hunter. If you haven't subscribed to him, go subscribe. I'm going to have him and Commonwealth Picker down in the description box below. Okay, he said, you know, I had tried to sell this bird. I picked it up for 50 cents. It was super cute. I tried to sell it a while back, and it just would not move. So, I was watching a video of his, and he said to use the word anthropomorphic, which just means that it basically has, like, human-like characteristics. You know, it's making a human-like gesture with its hand or its wing. You know, it's got the human-like eyes. So, couldn't sell it before. Put that in there. Got an offer for $8 and took it. Plus shipping. Last but not least, sold this Dungeons and Dragons puzzle. Oh, can't remember what, an ex what offer we accepted. But, this one only cost $1.50 retail arbitrage from GameStop. Plus shipping. So we did better on this one and it had less pieces. Go figure. So that is what sold in April. Or, yeah, April. <laughs> and I'll be back with a video of what sold on Macari because, as I've told you before, we do better on Macari than we do on eBay. So I thank you for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. Check out Kevin over at Commonwealth Picker slash Commonwealth Flipper. And check out Dominic over at Primetime Treasure Hunter.